Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So what I wanted to do in this video is take a look at my Todoist setup and share with you guys what it looks like in the month of February 2017. Now last time I did a video like this, it was in early October time, so it would have been about six months ago or so. So I wanted to do a recap. Now what I'm going to do in the description is add in the previous one, which might hold a few other gems that you might find useful, uh, and you can go over there and actually check that out. But this is going to be an updated one, which will show some of the evolution of my Todoist setup. So just before we get started as well, feel free to subscribe to the channel, it's free, and you guys get regular videos, so I put out three a week, so you'll get regular features that might interest you all about productivity tools. So let's jump in. I primarily use Todoist on my Mac and iOS. I've recently been using the Newton integration as well, which has been really helpful, sending any tasks that I have on email all the way over to Todoist, which is pretty handy. But those are the main apps. I have a, I believe it's the graphite theme. It's just a gray uh, theme at the moment. I've kept that one for a couple of months now. And it really helps me to, I, I don't know, I used to have the white setup, but now I have this gray setup and it sort of looks a lot harsher and a lot uh, nicer. So as you can see on the left hand side with the project section, I've minimized. So I've got like four projects uh, and one of those has obviously a lot of other projects inside it. So I have this really neat setup, like I minimize this a lot, I spent a lot of time, if you go to the previous video uh, that I did, you can see that I had a lot more of them uh, going down that left hand side. So last time I actually had inbox, I had waiting on, and also uh, do as a separate uh, one. So what I've done here is I've actually condensed everything into do, which is project based. So as you can see here, I've got uh, general uh, fitness, routine, uh, Newton, flash sticks where I work, Blinkist, YouTube, and uni. I've kept them all quite uh, reduced names uh, just so that it's like really neat along the side bit. And I've kept that emoji along the side, which is very nice. Now I'll probably go into what each of them mean in, in another video, but I think you can get the gist. That sort of do box is the start of it, and I put a nice black with an icon there, which is pretty nice. This is sort of my like place where I can see all my projects. Now, read is essentially a place where I just dump in all of the reads that I find. Now, I do occasionally save the things like uh, pocket, but now my sort of go-to, based on it, most of my reads being related to work or something I want to learn about, uh, I dump them inside of read uh, on my Todoist because I can tick them off as done, and if I ever need to refer back to them, I can use the history feature to go back to them. So down here, I've also got review as well. So review is a great place for me to just to dump in things across my week that I'm going to come to in my week review. Now, this is a really handy place for me to go and find stuff. And then finally, someday. So someday is basically some future projects that I have. Things that I might have in there would be, you know, places I want to go to, little trips. And th these are the sort of stuff that are going to happen three months on um, but maybe a year in advance, so it's sort of in that bracket and period of time. So last time I also had this area called goals, I've also removed that now, it's now into bear, uh, so I store my long-term goals in bear, and that's a really nice area for me to have that, because I pin it at the top of my bear account, it's a nice place to go to, and I feel that now my to-do list is a bit more efficient, it's more about the task side of stuff, rather than the goals, and I can go over to bear whenever I need to see that sort of overall vision. So the interesting thing as well, going back to that review box as well, so the review project box actually was an evolution from when I had that inbox. So I originally had inbox up here, which I use most of the time, and then I drag into a secondary inbox, which would be my, like, secondary review box. But now I just have this review section. It's a great way for me to, at the end of the week, go over all of the items. So for example, in my, in my uh, week review, when I do it on a Friday or a Saturday morning, I then go into here and I'm, uh, I'm very happy because I can go in and actually check out what I need to. It's important across my week for me to capture this stuff because then I can process it and really put it towards some of my long-term goals, uh, things that I'm processing as well. So up the top, I do use my inbox as normal. So I just dump stuff that I have in here across the day, which is quite nice. I tend to shoot them off to the different sections as well. I occasionally take some of the reads from there and drag them over to the inbox so they're easily accessible and I can clear them out by the end of the day. 
I do this in bunches of three so that I make sure that I'm doing that uh, occasionally. I'm getting some reading in. Some of the things that I didn't show you last time is, as you guys know, I use timestamps quite regularly. So what I would do is I'll actually associate most of these to the time. And this almost acts as my calendar now. So I don't really use my calendar as much as I thought. I use that for general events. But as you can see, I've got this general uh, acknowledgement of time chronologically of what I need to do, which is quite nice. And that's a sort of really handy thing. So what I what I do is the most important things is I P1 them. So I put them in priority one and they stand out uh, as I go across my day, dependent on the priority levels. Now, the three most important things that I work on in my day are the YouTube content, the flash sticks and Newton. But I also have Blinkist as well. So I put that in P1 when I work on Blinkist for those days. The interesting thing is in today, I normally have between 12 and 15 tasks. The previous time I did this review, but I've actually reduced it down to about six or seven between that sort of gap, just based on those the ability to use these subtasks. So these subtasks are nestled inside of each of them. I can't really show you them because obviously they're work based. So for example, I'll show you them for YouTube. So I'll have this broken down into all of the activities that I need to do for a specific day uh, or for that specific day. And they're, normally they range between 10 to 20 subtasks. They can be really small like P3s or P1s that are quite heavy. I'll tag all of the individual tasks inside there. So that's great for when I'm using the labels to jump in and find a specific thing. It's also given me a lot of freedom to use the labels a lot more, uh, which has been really, really interesting. So just going up to my to do is karma. Now this is something that I do show with people uh, every now and then. So I have around about maybe 30 to 40 tasks completed a day. These are mainly from the inbox. So what I'll have is some very small tasks that I'll complete over the period of time across my day and I'll clear them out. Just remember as well, I have a setup where I'm looking at review and read to complete a lot of tasks in my week. So I actually am completing more than the regular person and ticking things off based on this. I'm not actually doing like that's not potentially work. That's just review items. So if you actually look at the completed per day, I would say around about maybe 30 tasks are based on that or 40 tasks are actually based on the day and because I click tick off using a subtasking all of these tasks count now so it's quite efficient way of doing it to an extent but it gives me these out bloated numbers sometimes which you know potentially might not be available. So at the moment my to-do's karma is at 23,000 to complete a task. I'm almost at the enlightened stage as well, which is pretty decent. So that will be pretty exciting when that gets unlocked. And I've got myself a 77 week streak so far and also a daily streak of two, 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 one, two, one, two days. So at the moment I'm really enjoying my to-do'ist experience. When I actually moved from this, actually last time I did a video I didn't have this setup of subtasks. This subtask setup has really helped me because I come into my day and I have like visually a lot less tasks to complete. It looks like it when I've come in I feel a bit more organized, everything's all merged under one thing. I never really thought of it like this but then after doing this over time I was able to really uh, enjoy the setup and also have really nailed the way that I'm using uh, P1, P2, P3. P3 has been really just tasks that I want to, I can do quite easily. P1 are uh, things that I'm going to spend a lot of time on and it's really nice in my thing. I can sort of see the most important stuff at a glance. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my Todoist overview. Let me know in the comments whether you're using some of this setup. I'd really love to hear how you've progressed. I've heard a lot of you in the giveaway that I did last week have enjoyed my to do videos, so let me know what other videos I could be doing to help you guys. I'm going to be doing a Q&A video about some of the issues you might be having with to do and making some suggestions, so I'm looking forward to doing that one. But for now, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions about your setup, and I'm happy to help with anything else. Anyway guys, I wanted to thank you very much, make sure to have a great week, make sure to subscribe as well, because I put out regular videos you guys know, and I'd really love to connect with you uh, wherever it may be. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.